What is up, you guys? How's it going? Welcome back um, to another Inyo HQ um, video. Another watching Kenya, I guess. Anyway, another mukbang. Today, um, it's probably gonna be like a mukbang slash vlog, but today I'm eating something from my own past. That is right, because it was cooked, none other, by Yemisi Laddington, the progenerator. No, I'm just joking. Anyway, um, my mother. This is what I grew up calling yellow rice. I actually have no idea what this would be called in any other context, but we always called it yellow rice. And then I have some chicken that I barbecued the other day and froze it because Daniel's been doing um, a lot of carnivore um, diet. I feel like my phone is slowly moving, but I'm not sure. But anyway, um, Danielle's been doing a lot of carnivore diet. Um, and um, so we, we were, we like, we barbecue meat and put it in the freezer. But anyway, so yellow rice, you can see she has the caramelized red onions in there. There's curry in there. And I got a bottle of water. I'll probably get a little, some other drink. Um, later, but yes, I'm excited. I'm gonna dive right in. I already prayed and blessed my food, so I'm not gonna do it again for show. Well, I'll bless you though, but bless anyone who's watching in Jesus' name. So I'm excited for this, it's gonna be tasty. And then also, I was thinking about, I wanted to talk a little bit about the gym. I started going back to the gym. And I went to the gym this morning. And I just thought this would be cool maybe for someone else who's like get back into the gym stuff. Um, I just like hopped around a bunch of different machines, you know, cause I, one of the things I got, I was getting bored, you know, sometimes I always get restless, right? The gym is the best place to be restless. Cause I, I got on one machine. I was like, all right, cool. Did about three minutes, medium, pretty low intensity. Did another machine, pretty low, a lot of slightly higher intensity. But by the end, I went on the stair machine um, what was the first one that I went on? I think I went on like this bike, but the bike was blowing wind. It was like one of those bikes that is also a fan. And I was just like, this is actually not that cool. Maybe if I was already sweating, but um, anyway, but I was just, you know, restless. So did that one, jumped on the, the incline one. I switched it. So it was just doing glutes and calves. Cause I was trying to, cause I did uh, some other leg stuff when I first went back to the gym and I didn't really feel like messing with my hamstrings anymore. Um, um, but yeah, and then I ended up, the last thing I did was I got on the treadmill, um, and I just, I, I, I started pretty fast running, and I, by Should the I end I was, it? by the end I was sprinting, um, I'm full really speed. I'm trying it because this is Yemisi's famous yellow rice. I oh, that's don't true. need to be eating She's rice. She's not really doing carbs right now. But. I'm not doing carbs, but I want to try it. I feel guilty trying it all day. You gotta get it. I used to love this. This was like my number one requested dish. This with plantain. This is better than jollof rice to me, honestly. Because jollof rice is like, you can only take a certain amount of jollof rice. This right here, hmm. Yeah, it's good. Maybe a little hot sauce. Oh, man. Yeah. Mmm. Yellow rice. You want to try this? I'd like to try something from there. So, Danielle, oh, we should show Danielle's food too. Danielle went to Oasis Market, uh, and we're in Uvalde right now. Why? Um, anyway, who knows? But um, we're in Uvalde. Just looking around, um, doing some stuff. We're at, we're at a Starbucks. Just exploring. Yeah, just exploring. We're at a Starbucks right now. So, they had a, this salad bar called the Oasis Market. And she was able to get, I don't even know what these are. You want, uh, what, what's these two uh, things at the this top? This is chicken salad. That's a pecan uh, cranberry salad. Mm. And that's just like some mixed up stuff. And can you know, got some breadsticks? Breadsticks. I'm going to grab one of those. I forgot about those. Yours. Oh, they're mine? Yeah. Okay. I got those. The breadsticks were free. I should have filled that whole thing up. Because yeah. the breadsticks and the soup, they, they, they charged me based on the weight of what was in there. Oh, okay. So I guess they consider breadsticks and, and soup free. So, yeah. It's not free, but it's just this? included. Uh, no, I didn't try anything. Let me try the. You said apple cranberry. Oh, this is seafood salad too. This is seafood. Oh, there's a seafood salad right there. there. Let me try a little bit of that. Just tiny amount. Oh wow. 
Whoa. This is actually the best salad. What's this one on top? That's chicken salad. The seafood salad has more flavor. Whoa. It's actually good. These are the best. I don't know what you call these things, like cold salads or whatever. Mixed up cold salads with like mayonnaise and stuff like that. Those are the best I've had in a long time. Usually people kind of use that type of entree as like a, I'm not really gonna do anything type of thing, you yeah. know what I mean? And they do like the laziest for nothing. It's not a problem, cause it's a side, you know? You're not really thinking about it. I'm not hating on, on you know, a nice simple potato salad. I'm just saying that usually it's not to that level. She doubled it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so this is going down. This is actually like That's a lot of food now. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Dang. That's super delicious. I already kind of full. The soup is a little, little suspect. No, no disrespect. Soups can always be, they give you the soup. The included soup comes in this. I guess I'll take a little sip. You tried it already? Yeah, I said it's a little suspect. <sighs> I made a friend of Salabar. Not sure what's she in said it. it was vegetable soup, but it clearly has. It's definitely meat, meat no. Yeah, it's meat. It's like a turkey, like a ground turkey or something. Yeah, it's just like it's like a chili. They're, they're going for like an older demographic, which I love. Yeah, yeah. Because old people love soup, and I'm not old, but I love soup too. So I would, I tolerate, I could tolerate that. Very good, very good. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say on the gym stuff. Anyway, but um, yeah. Now we can open the floor for general discussion. <laughs> but, um, video stopped for a quick, quick second. Sorry about that. But, um, because I ran out of storage. Hopefully, we'll see how much storage I, I freed up. Um, Danielle brought up some. I thought that was fun. I don't know why I really introduced it like that, but it's because you guys are here. But, talking about Ron Allen on the uh, Nine Club. Yeah, I was barely seeing. He just seemed like he was tweaking just a little bit when he was telling that story about like getting like I don't know. I didn't hear the whole context of the story, but like the police officer was saying they wanted to see him cry. I was like, mm. bro, you're you're tweaking a little bit. I don't know if he was drinking or something. I was like, you're tweaking just a bit. Oh yeah, I mean it was in Chicago, and the thing is he's like 62. Okay, I mean so, maybe he's not tweaking. I thought he was. Just, I thought he was like in his early 40s or something. That's like. Oh no! Yeah, he seemed a, a little unhinged. I think he's 60. I think he's Cause 60. yeah, he said he was like, he said he was like 30. Oh no, he's 20 something in 1991. I'm like, my boy. Yeah. What? You're older than. And I, you can tell like from his attitude, he was kind of naive. Like, I don't think people realize like how racist people were back then. Like, especially to see like a cocky young black dude. Cause I feel like now, like people just don't like it, because especially media is not making it easier too because like they, they think that like if you're like trying to do well it's even like sometimes i don't even like black people to be honest with you because like you know what i feel like i feel mm -hmm. like sometimes like it's just like almost that like not intimidation because it's like not that but it's just like i don't think sometimes black people make other people feel uncomfortable because like think about like white people tend to be like darker like do all this stuff like they get bigger lips all the stuff that we already have and like you know it seems like it's like set up that we are like the like not you know like dominant people like nobody wants to be black it's like it kind of seems like you guys want to be a little bit of black you know even like our culture and stuff like that not to like you know bring another culture down but i think that a lot of it's like, it's like reverse like love like you know you guys hate mm. on the stuff that you love you like yeah. to get a bigger butt a bbl you want to get bigger lips you want to get you know all this stuff done like you're emulating black culture and you don't even know it i don't think we all do that. i think we all like every like you know because that's what he was talking about too like he didn't think about skateboarding as like a, a black thing when he was growing up and i think for him he really you know just grew up kind of like without like race being a major major thing I think it's but we all like share we share each other's culture all the time like you know like basketball is invented by a white dude yeah and then we we like it though you know well i i like it I, you know? and white people don't need to be pandered to like they get it mm. they have stuff but um no i just mean that like i think that's what culture is about i think we all like to share but i think yeah <clears throat> yeah in certain situations it but can I think seem like, for like him like with the nine club thing that was kind of interesting because it's like mm -hmm. it has to unwrap a lot of stuff like you know for people to be like oh a black like you're already black, you know, in that time period, having issues about racism. And then on top of it, you're 
being a skater, which a lot of people don't like skaters because you're skating probably on property you're not supposed to be skating on or whatever. They just don't like skating and that type of activity. So it's just like, I kind of felt a little bad. It's kind of like, woo -hoo, like, you know, but it is like, you know, you're black. That's already an issue for you. And then like you're skateboarding, which is already kind of even like a thing for like, a hard thing for white people to do. Like they don't, they already don't like white skaters. So what do you think they're exactly. going to think about black skaters? That's why it's just like, okay, like you That's need a, to, you need to unpack that part of it, you know, because like you're kind of dancing around this problem. It's like, as a black man, you already have a target on your back, but you choose to go out there and skate. That please don't like skaters. Like, mm -hmm. are you dumb? Like, clearly they don't like you. So it's just like, yeah, you should. Un and I think he was I wish really he would have unpacked that. that a little more eloquently and articulated. Because I mean, it is like you have to be like real about like the history of skating. Like being a black skater, that's just like uh, people's parents. Like, why would you go? Why would you put yourself through that? You know, you have mm -hmm. to really like skateboarding. So yeah. Um, I'm, I'm curious to hear some more black skaters come on there and articulate themselves about what they actually go through because you know white people think they're like not I don't, white people y'all are, are good but um you know they have their own issues with skateboarding but like i know black people probably have faced way more prejudice being a black skater like that's just mm -hmm. a that's just wild and he was apparently the first black professional skateboarder well street skateboarder uh, there was a vert, like vert, the whole ramp stuff, like Tony Hawk does. There was a black dude on that stuff, but he was the first street skateboarder. Maybe yeah, you saw the dynamic between him and Chris Roberts. I think I'm more Chris was just like, oh, like you're doing like a comedy set, like thing, mm -hmm. whatever. And I was just like, you're just saying that because he's just charismatic, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just like what it is. Black people are charismatic. Yeah, and even for me, like, I notice that, like, even sometimes, like, these sunglasses seem super mild, right? But I think to some people, it's like, oh, okay. My, it's like, like you're showing off. No, that's why, look, like, when I go to sometimes. places, I'll just take them off because I'm like, I don't. Is it a lot? I worked out at the gym today with sunglasses on. I knew that it was causing a little <laughs> bit of, but I don't wear sunglasses for other people. I wear them because I, sometimes I like the low-key vibe and people will be blasting lights. You know? I literally wear them because my eyes are super duper sensitive, yeah. um, and it just feels this feels more comfortable. Like in my phone, I don't have like the blue light setting. I always have it dim. I don't like a whole bunch of light in my face. But I realize that some people like I don't know. I think that they think it's sassy to have sunglasses on, which I I don't care. But like yeah, it I think, helps people. Know, it makes the block a little bit higher. Well, you know, sometimes the block needs to be hot because everybody needs to tighten up. Quotes from Danielle, 20, 2024. Tighten up. Tighten it. But yeah, that was an interesting episode. Um, yeah. The chicken is Kenya chicken. was in his lunchbox, lunchbox phase. Yeah, you know the thing is, uh, that was really good. That was really okay, good. Okay, you want some other? But um, other like, when it comes to like picking for myself, like out food outside, I never. Oh no, that's, that's good. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't pick good stuff. For me, if I go out and I eat, I'm gonna end up at Taco Bell. I'm gonna end up at McDonald's. I'm gonna end up at the gas station, buying gas station pizza, but gas station chimichangas. See, you, he doesn't eat out of entertainment. So, like sometimes I eat out of entertainment. I have to eat because it's like time for me to eat. But like you know, I'm not gonna eat like a whole meal. He's actually trying to. Like, he's gonna eat a whole meal. So that's why I think it is good that you get your actual food that you like. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm and gonna eat I still, something else in a little bit. Exactly, like, and I'll still myself sprinkle a little bit of something else. I know it seems like you just ate a, a whole thing of food. Yes, that's true. I did, but <laughs> like a little, you know, a little, a little, a little Welch's, a little Welch's fruit snack on top of that. You know, <clears throat> that's where I can splurge a little bit. You know what I'm saying maybe, maybe a cream soda, <laughs> especially since I'm going to the gym now. I'm saying I think I can. I deserve a cream soda. Say I ripped it. Bro, I does ripped it. I was in there. Twenty push-ups and it's trying to push the calorie limit. Get out of here. You know it's funny that the. I was thinking about Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was just like, oh, he's just like, very. He's like the peak of. I don't think anyone's been as like, well fit as him. You know, like if you just yeah, look at like the I shape. Think of, it has been. I mean, just look at the shape of it. I mean, as far as like in recent history, I think that's why like he's popular. I was because I was I never I really thought about why he was popular fun. before. I, yeah, me neither. I never thought about like why. I was like, where did he even come from? But I'm just like, oh, okay, he was just really fit. That was like it. Like he didn't. I know that sounds probably you know lame to. I mean, normal to much you guys who already know about him or whatever. But I didn't realize Broski was just because like 
what else did he get up to? Like, he just came out of, he just like moved to America and then got super fit. And then I think got that's famous. probably like the most like unproblematic hobby people have. I think some people do try to make it into their whole personality, which is super annoying. But it's just like, okay, yeah, I mean like, for some people, I realize it's their art or it's their science. Like they're investigating. Yeah, usually like a lot a of like gym bros and stuff. They don't have any creative outlet, so that's them like really pushing their mind to the limit. Because I do get bored with like, uh, I mean, I've always worked out, but like I don't know, I, I do get bored in certain settings with gym stuff, and I I see it just like as a thing I need to do, like uh, like going and clocking in for something. Like I don't really think it's like a fun outlet. Like when people try to like, oh my gosh, going to the gym is like so fun. I get it like. No, it's not actually fun. Maybe. It's not fun, but also people use it as like a it. okay. People use right. it as like a a spot where they're just hanging out. They'll be shooting text messages, mm -hmm. relaxing, maxing. I think I'm done too. A three okay, breadsticks and a whole bowl of rice. I'll put it in the back. Yeah, <clears throat> and some chicken. And uh, yeah, this is probably gonna be like a mukbang slash vlog. I'm gonna include some clips from the gym and different things like that. But um, I should be chill. Hope you guys are chilling. Hope you're enjoying your life. You're staying blessed. God has something special for you. Who knows what it is? I can't imagine what it is. He always puts like but. the worst thumbnails of me. So let me. You can use one of these, like. Oh yeah, let's do a thumbnail. What? What's the tongue? I don't know. Okay, let's do a tongue. <laughs> Just mouth open. That's how they do the, the good ones. No, that's not cute. That, that's what they do. What was like? <laughs> what was this like? Be love. That's what all the people do. I'm only doing one thumbnail, so I don't know. Peace out, y'all. Yeah. 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 Left. Days left.